<laughs> I've only sold in the last 24 hours that I think I got this down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. But not only me, over the past five months, I've been meeting with some gutsy renegade upcyclers. I'm Cindy. Hi. Oh, uh, I'm Delana. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be here and to- uh, you're a Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> we were from all over the country. Laura, where are you in the country? Upstate New York. Okay. We met Didi. But I literally just left Chicago today. I was only there like overnight though. <laughs> How dare you? You don't come through Chicago and don't tell me. I know. See, I live in the Bay Area and it's really hard to find affordable, good stuff. Same here. Oh, where, where are you at, Nicole? I'm in, I'm in New York. York. The only thrift stores are in Manhattan, but I'm like 30. Oh yeah, same. So we're in the same boat. With different levels of experience in upcycling and sewing. Um, we are not in the office anymore and we probably will not be going to the office until yeah. next year. So I realized that my casual game is like whack. One day I might be professional, the next day I might be a hood rat, who knows? I have a denim jacket in the closet, it's too big. I'd love to fit it and do like the puff sleeves because I love a puffy sleeve. I would leave yeah. this part on, right? Um, when you get to underneath the arm, you may have to take it in too, because if you have something that's way too big for you, that armhole is going to be too big too. But I feel like it's like, it's poofy and I'm not really feeling that poofiness, but I have this oh, belt. That looks, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of goes with that one part that is over here that you guys saw in the inspiration picture. Right. I think it looks fantastic. I, I thought I had, um. If you took some of those pleats and maybe sewed them down and you could cut out the excess fabric and then get a oh, yeah. place for it. Oh, great. Okay. That's you a good know? idea too. Cause I kind of want the distressing to continue in the bottom part, even though the yeah. inspiration picture didn't have that. I'm like, well, if I'm using denim, I might as well just keep the distressing theme like going. The task was simple. Upcycle one piece per month with the goal of having one cohesive look at the end. No, not homework. You know how old I am to be doing homework? Yes, okay, I'm homework. I'm going to mute myself again. Okay. <laughs> After each month's class, some got right on it and were finished in plenty of time, enough time to complete several up cycles. Okay, go ahead, Grace. Here's where I'm at right now. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I'm still going to put more stuff. And then for the shirt, leftovers of the blazer. So it's oh, gonna wow. be like a crop, like a crop top uh, shirt. Yeah. Tell them what you're gonna really do nice. with the with the soda can. For the buttons, I'm gonna use the soda can. Like I'm gonna cut the. Let's say this is a soda can, and then you know, like the thing from the bottom. That's good. That's gonna be the buttons. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah. You have to definitely tell us how you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Others use the next class deadline as much needed motivation to go ahead and finally get some upcycling done. You think of all the stuff that you planned and want to do and you bought all this stuff for it. And now it's time to do something and you don't know what to do. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Well, then it sounds like you need a deadline. So you got to be done with your top or at least your sweaters by next by our meeting next month. Okay. I'm so excited, Angelina, because I had to, uh, I had to get her done, as they say, get her done. <laughs> and, um, and to your point, DD, I got so paralyzed by all the decisions that I had to make. And I stood in front of a mirror and I laid this thing out and the, yeah, I'm not re overly happy with it. I think for me, the best part was I had to get it done. I was really working hard to be accountable. So full disclosure, I've been bad. I know all of you guys are going to pull it out. You're like me. Like you need that final deadline and then it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they learned all my tips and tricks as far as thrifting, um, getting inspiration for your up cycles and taking them to completion. The next thing I want you to do is think about the colors, textures, and fabrics that you really like. And the reason we're doing this is because when you go into your wardrobe or into your stash or to the thrift store, I want you to kind of have in the back of your mind some parameters as to what you're looking for. And that's going to help you get focused so that you don't just go picking up things that you're not eventually going to upcycle. Fall, winter 2021, then it'll give me these color palettes 
of all the colors that are like hot right now. I see the thrift store as a fabric store. And so every time I go in there, it's just all these gorgeous fabrics and and buttons and zippers and lace and... Oh. And they created some amazing pieces. Yeah, I'm really happy with the fit in the butt now. And I put an extra dart in and like I said, I lifted the waistband. But uh, yeah, I'm quite thrilled. The best part was I decided to style them and... Uh, it was just so good to dress up for a little bit. For our final show, we had Jackie, whose attention to detail is bar none. I did, I merged two jackets in my skill level. I'm very persnickety and I'm an old time sewer. I like things to be finished really nice and fit really well. And so I got really persnickety about it. But it was way too small for me in the bosom. And I thought, oh, a piece of cake. I've been a sewist all my life. I can, I can fix anything. Well. It's also got all these princess seams in it. Yeah. Um, and so when I started taking it apart, I thought, oh my gosh, this is a really ambitious project. Okay, you can stand up and do a twirl for us. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that, that t-shirt. Yes. Oh, there's the new collar. Nice. And I'll go back like this. I'm, I'm really pleased with the fit. But the best part was I found a men's silk pajama top. Oh, wow. And I, I, I uh, use the old to make piping. And then I put the, the cuffs on. And it's really comfortable. Uh, and I will wear it. And it looks great with jeans. So. That is awesome. Nicole, our Victorian bombshell, who created this amazing coat and a ton of other upcycles along the way. Okay, Nicole, are you ready? Sure. So, so far, I've got kind of the panel going on here. It is black, so it's like gonna be a little bit of a color difference. Pretty much like I have something like very similar yeah. to this green coat that's here. And I'm kind of aiming more for this like 1910 sort of. It's sort so of look. beautiful. This one was like a mock neck sweater yeah. where it's like, I'm not gonna wear this. I can't stand cropped things. I'm already short. I am cropped. I'm not gonna add <laughs> collar off of it and added like this little lace trim to the end oh pretty that's just such a nice finish beautiful finish carolyn who was very apprehensive at the beginning but came to the final party with like 50 upcycles done i'm nervous because um i've been taking lessons and all that and 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 watching your videos religiously but i haven't made the plunge i'm so scared but i thought I would start off with this one right here. Okay. Crazy puff sleeves, all different ways. And, you know, just like from those pictures, but I don't have the skills for it, I think. Okay. So um, I crammed because I kept on missing meetings and I was nervous and I was scared and I was afraid to turn in my Zuki. Lots of drama in my head. But mm -hmm. I was possessed and I did um, three up cycles. This is one where I found um so this is just the pants that i found that was just straight and um i just love it i'm into textiles and of course the cross stitching of the mong fabric is just amazing to me this is all hand cross stitching by the way so i just uh put um some sort of faux leather straps together and to have it come sort of like wrapped around a little bit of thing and it's i made a crop so that it'll be, you know, fun. Um, the other one was this. You'll see from the picture, it just looks like a, a sack. So then I went ahead and put, you know, just bands on the arms and push it way up. So it looked very 80s kind of, you know, billowy. So what happened was, um, you know, it's one big fabric. So I started doing the arm and I accidentally did the leg. And so I was like, oh, what okay so then um i went ahead and did the legs as well and i'm super happy with that delana who's also one of the hosts of a web show called sexy is timeless hi everybody how are you doing um you know i'm here in georgia i don't have my normal clothes so there was a dress a long dress hanging in the closet so i just cut the top off and put elastic in the back that i'm working on which is in my sister's husband's shirt and i added princess scenes down it I took nice. off the sleeves and I plan to, you know, like do something with the sleeves. I'm going to do that blue shirt, but it didn't work. I kept cutting it until it got cut to nothing. I went into my boyfriend's closet 
and pulled out his blue jean. Uh, well, first of all, he gave me a bunch of stuff, but I pulled out his tan pants. I'll post all the pictures. I took pictures and I just made a really simple skirt. Um, How out cute. Of it, it's glued and then sewn. So, you know, it could have been a no sew. Um, the jacket you already saw. And then this top. Last night, I was going to cut a bodysuit out of the shirt that I had of his. And I cut it and I forgot I had boobs. Um, <laughs> So I didn't take into account. Like I watch all these girls on YouTube and I'm like, they just cut everything like easily. And then I try to do it and I have, you know, 32 double D's and nothing ever fits. And I've packed up every single piece of clothing I've had here. But my friend gave me this dress yesterday, like a summer dress. So literally today with my sewing machine and very lack of, I have like nothing here. I made this cute little top. So it was a dress. Good job. Valerie, who was also competing in Next Top Upcycle the same week as the final party and is a mom of five, but managed to still have upcycles for this. So this top part, because I needed to practice sewing jeans. So I cut off these jeans and I made a bodice. Um, I put a belt on it. And the straps are made from my kids' pants. <laughs> <laughs> One leg I used for straps. And then this part was um, a pair of, I think, oh, Liz Claiborne pants. I just cut the top off. And this is the side seam. This is the crotch. So it's open. Oh, it's oh. very long. <laughs> Those are cute. I like that. Yeah, Dude, that's yeah. awesome. I wasn't expecting you to have anything, Valerie. You were surprised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a theater person. I can make stuff really quickly. It's just a matter of if it looks good or not. <laughs> and our diva, Didi, who brings the party wherever she goes. We're going we gonna to save Snazzy. Oh, Didi, Didi you look so good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You are so That's what I did. You're wrong for that. Looking good. Okay, ladies. The diva. <laughs> All right. Can you guys see me? Oh, yeah. Here it is. It's the tan leather. I took the sleeves of the denim jacket and put it on there. This is the stones. It was on the back pocket of the, of the jeans for the denim outfit. And it's the AS flipped upside down like on the jacket. These were trimmings around the pocket. So I just put them in a cancer symbol. My dad died of lung cancer. So I put it in the cancer symbol. And then the back to cinch it in is the button top from the pants with the big stone on it. I actually did a bracelet too, but I ain't had time to find it, put it on. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. happy that I, I, was, I was on time with the homework. That's the <laughs> Along the way, we found ourselves learning way more about each other. Carolyn, she loves tapestry fabrics, like, you know, things that are very intricate. And that goes for Miss Jackie, too. Yes. Uh -huh, Miss Jackie, like, yes. Things also. Oh, my yes. God. Like, very oh, and stuff. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, you're denim, I know. Yeah. Nicole, I think you have a little bit of flair for, like, almost like historical pieces. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I tend to <laughs> laughing a ton because we're from Chicago. Our, our RBF is very strong. <laughs> so like when I'm it's resting B face uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm out and like in Chicago, if somebody looks at you, normally it's to size you up. If they want to try to sell you something, take advantage of you, or something like that. So you have oh, to have wow. a really strong RBF to, for people to leave you alone, especially as a woman. So mm -hmm. I've been in Houston for 15 years, but I haven't lost that part. And so let's do it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, mm, don't even think about talking to me. Look. Exactly. <laughs> Celebrating one another. Did anybody take a look at that reposted bed that Miss Jackie posted the other day? Did <laughs> I, didn't, I haven't seen it yet. Oh my God. Go see that bed <laughs> post. Miss Jackie, girl, you are awesome. Uh, hey. Wow. Oh my. <laughs> that gorgeous. Is... Thank you, DD. Thank you. And I got tired of it. And I didn't want to do it anymore. But I did. That's definitely a labor of love. Uh, welcome, Dee Dee. 
I know she doesn't have a sound on, but we're so glad to see you. <laughs> you are back healthy and sewing and here with us. Well, I guess being sick, I'm ahead of the game because I have my final look. You know, after having my temper tantrum of losing all my hair and everything, I was like, oh, God, I got to catch up. I got to catch up. So. And you look so good. You look so oh, good. Yeah. With your hair. Mm-hmm. yeah, I had a, a allergic reaction to a ketamine drip that they gave me for my back. And I wow. woke up with all my hair on my pillow. Oh, no. So uh, I was like, no more drips. And supporting each other. And I was contemplating on getting that surger foot. Don't buy it. You can just have it. See if it works better for you or if you can figure it out. You can just have it. (laughs) CT, I'm sending love and kisses to you through the internet. (laughs) Looks like she forgave you for not seeing her in Chicago, eh? I know. (laughs) know. Okay, you finna make me cry. See? (laughs) What started off as a class has turned into a super fun upcycle club. It seems like we all have the same problem, even if we're doing it on pre love market, you know, we're a little bit crazy. So I'm just like, shop your closet, shop your closet. I'm hopeless. Just go ahead on. I'll be here when you get back. (laughs) And I'm so happy to share it with you guys and invite you to join us. Been sewing together for quite a while and it's just, I'm just so grateful to find my people. And and know that I have something to look forward to every month. So I'm really sorry this is ending. Fun, well, it's not but... ending. It's not oh. ending like ending ending. So okay. it just starts again. Oh, so oh, we thank you. Yes. Yeah, so now we're not ending. I'm not going oh. anywhere. <laughs> That's what I was anticipating because I came in near the end of it. <laughs> no, we're not ending. Oh. We're just putting a cap on that outfit so that we can okay. start doing something for spring summer. Okay. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> yeah. The next session starts March 1st at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we have some amazing things planned for this next session. I wish we could meet up somewhere and thrift together. Like when you know, that would be fun. <laughs> I would love for you all to come to that three for a dollar sale because I lose my That's everlasting. Amazing. Or if I could get you guys wow. to my quarter day. Oh, I yes. Know. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should thrift for each other and then mail each other packages. I know. I know. (laughs) We should do that challenge. Mail each other. I would love this. Oh, that would be a cool challenge. Like almost like a white elephant. Almost like a white elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can do that for our final challenge. We can pull a name and whoever you get, whoever name you get, you thrift for them one, just one piece, and you send it to them and they have to incorporate it into a upside. Yeah, that would be awesome. I would love that. That would be fun. Yeah, (laughs) we can definitely make that happen. For for one of our um, lessons, we could um, go into each other's closets, like share. (laughs) Oh, we could. We could do that. We could have a, a closet reveal. Yeah. Like, but like, no stash, like we could shop each other's stash. Yeah. So like, I like I that. Know. Like if I, I take you guys in my closet that. and you can pick out something that you want. That for would my be cool. <laughs> I like that. I have a question. What's our next homework? So you guys want homework or you want to take a month off? No. Homework. Oh. I'm taking no. a month off. <laughs> I'm I'm already doing a challenge and I want more. Yeah. Let's start gathering our pieces and designing a whole look. Like, do you want us to do, okay, 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 sorry. Like, like a inspiration board and then a whole line or do you you have a whole line, but you can do, but at least you you have to have at least a whole look. Oh, no, that's what I want for pedestrians. I want to do a line. (laughs) I can't miss it. I've only I've only sold in the last 24 hours that I think I got this shit down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't see her face, her eyes got the glowing. I mean, look at her. Look at her, Missy. Calm down. <laughs> well, these have been released. Beginners can join us in doing just one piece per month. Or if you want more, you can join the ladies by creating a three look collection. Either way, it's an upcycle party and I'm inviting you to join us. 
We have a shared Pinterest board to collect our ideas and we keep in touch through Facebook and email. You can join by hitting that join button down below and becoming a member of Team Renegade VIP Supreme Group. But even if you can't join us in the class, I do encourage you to take this challenge on your own. Just do at least one upcycle per month with the goal of making a cohesive look. And then you can share it in my free Facebook group, uh, Blueprint DIY Renegade Upcycles. The link is in the description box below. Or you can post it on Instagram and tag me for the opportunity to have me share it in my stories. I wanna say a huge thank you to these ladies for allowing me to share their upcycle journey with you here on YouTube. And if you wanna see some more just off the charts upcycling, make sure you catch Next Top Upcycler, which premieres February 27th at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Subscribe so you don't miss it because you guys will vote to crown the Next Top Upcycler. I've seen the final looks and they are fire. Let me tell you, it is amazing. You don't want to miss it. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right. See you later. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good bye bye. Night. Oh, how did you get out? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Good question, Miss Jackie. I'm doing the same thing.